first episode? Oh, gosh. I mean, just which part of it? Being in it? Uh, being part of it? Uh, no, it's just getting out of the house is a good thing for me. Um, no, it was actually... It was the first time uh, I've seen it. I had read it, but um, I was uh, I was pretty blown away by it. I mean, I thought it was so. Uh, I thought Clark directed it so well. It was very well directed. It was beautifully shot. The the VFX were amazing, and our cast was just wonderful. And how about that last moment with the uh, homie with the silver eyes? <laughs> I know, but uh, it was great. No, I loved watching it. So, uh, Ian, uh, your character fits. Uh, obviously, uh, in the end of season five, you had traveled a long way, uh, 75 years in cryo free, yeah. to get to uh, the team. So now it's jumped uh, one year ahead, and I don't want to spoil it too much, but um, what can you tell us about season six in general as far as um, the Affinity War, Endgame, and things like that? Is there anything that you can tease? Uh, I'm probably not the best authority to speak on that. Jeff, Jeff, um, Jeff Loeb made a point the in the panel. Jeff, not, not yeah, <laughs> Jeff uh, Loeb made a point in the panel that was saying, you know, that uh, go and see the Avengers movies and then, you know, catch up on Agent of Shield. Um, yeah, and then with Fitz, it's. Uh, uh, you know, as we saw, as you see in the first episode, Elizabeth and, and the rest of the team are out. Oh, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth um, Simmons and the rest of the team are out looking for him. Um, he's in space somewhere, and time is you know time's kind of been altered now. The kind of the way that um, so uh, there'll definitely be some uh, surprises up. You know, there's definitely gonna be some stuff in space as well. Yeah, the new languages are being spoken. I, I gathered yeah, this episode. which is baby basically just a baby language. You know, when baby, just before babies can speak, and they're like, I don't know, it's basically just that. Oh. <laughs> That's the alien language. And what was it like to be directed by Clark for the first episode? It was great. We did it uh, before um, season four. Five. Season five. Yeah, start, yeah, season five, we did it. It was great. I, I sadly didn't have loads of them in this episode, but he's brilliant, you know, and, and he, uh, he has a real. Um, he has a real shorthand on set, um, just because of who he is, and also just because we're, you know, already kind of established that kind of relationship. And, um, he uh, he understands uh, he understands everybody's characters. He understands story, and he also understands that the show is uh, the tone of the show. You know, it's an exciting, fast-paced show, and he gets all that. So he's a really special person to have in that capacity on set. Jeff, I wanted to ask, um, since you were in this episode so much, you know, I'm just wondering, are they going to save you for the rest of the season, you know what I mean? No, that's actually the most screen time I get in this season. <laughs> I am the, s the, most <laughs> the smallest series regular of all time. I, no, it's, uh, I, you will, you'll, you'll uh, ca catch more up with, uh, with Deke, but it's not yet. Okay. Yeah. So is it going to be weird when Fitz finds out that Simmons got married, but... You didn't get married to yet. I mean, I don't. I, I, I can't say what would happen with that, but I imagine that would be a weird concept to like wake up one day and be like, "Oh, really? We have kids?" Like, oh, but she's a widow, but you're still alive. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, and I suppose it would probably have been. You would think it would be something that was already on both of their minds, but to learn that we had it would be a would be a, would be a strange thing, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Has it been like totally confusing with this timeline? Like, if you say. Save Coulson, then one timeline is one way, but now that you did the save Coulson, and now the timeline's split, so has it been kind of crazy jumbling around with the writers and stuff and everything? Yeah. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you understand much of like three dimensions and, and time travel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do good, because I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just know that they, they did a lot of research on it and like, you I mean, know, the writing is that, brilliant, but yeah. it's like, it seems like as an actor too, like, oh, you have to play this, by the way, it's 75 yeah. years from now. And, then you have this, and it's oh no, it's back to this because we changed the timeline, and you're like, uh, what? You know, yeah, there was. Do you know what there is? There, there's been some things where we'll. Uh We'll read an episode and we'll find out, and then they keep us behind afterwards and say, "Okay, who doesn't? Who needs? Who's got questions?" <laughs> so we, you know, we make sure that we're all up to speed, and, and, and they have a they have a series of um, of um, professionals in different areas and um, advisors that help us out and basically tell us like what could be in the realm of possibility. And you know, we also, you know, it's a sci-fi show. We also kind of stretch that as much as we can. But um, yeah, they're very smart with the way they play with all that time stuff. I think it's a really cool storyline.
Well, I love Michelle. Yeah. 